<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Max Payne. Yeah, I haven't played this in the week I since know, I recorded I, the last I part. Oh man. I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to. Turn off my TVs. Or turn down my TVs for me. We got them both? Oh, you're not dead yet. Gotcha. Alright. So, yeah, I haven't played this in a good chunk of time. I've been enjoying the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I beat that on Thursday. That was fun. I can't stop thinking about it now, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not gonna spoil anything or say anything, but in the past couple of days I've had like gaming ADHD because of that. Like I've only been able to think about that. Been like picking up and putting down just other things randomly. The headlines were a depressing read. Oh, well, let's see what the headlines are then. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. I don't know, Max. You don't seem like you're very down for the count yet. To be fair. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, no. Go play it. <laughs> All of the Molotovs, jeez. Okay, that's locked. Okay, so while I was straight, okay, it's like the backwards step animation is kind of funny because it just kind of looks like he's sl sliding backwards, like he's being dragged off and he's only kind of like moving his feet <laughs> as he needs to by like, a, like say you're being pulled off by a bird. Uh, oh, they're both like that. If this game was a little less action and a little more creepy, those guys would be much more intimidating. <laughs> like if you dimmed the lights and there were just blood on the hall, in the hallway. Oh, chapter 5, something more sinister. Oh boy. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Oh man. <coughs> I can't go that way. Didn't I just come from there though? How did we that? Is there a lock I can shoot? <laughs> I mean, it didn't look... Oh, maybe I can... No? This isn't the lock either? Huh. Well, that doesn't work. Don't charge the fire, kids. And someone was singing as I died. I like how the fire is burned into the screen there. That's hilarious. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Um, I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Like I imagine that charging the fire would definitely just kill me. I'm gonna stop wasting my shotgun ammo and go to the thing that I have the most. Oh 
Uh, maybe, okay, maybe I can set him off with a Molotov rather than shooting. Alright, I'm on the right track, I feel. I just have to back up far enough to not die. <laughs> See, that took me a minute, because, like, in almost any game, I feel like usually things like those, if they don't get set explosives. off with bullets, they don't get set off at all. At least from any memory I've had. Oh, that sent. Okay. I thought the wall was exploding and I was too close. My problem is that I was in the direct path of a torpedo. <laughs> Good to know. All right, we're we're thinking now. Bear with me. <laughs> Why am I so stupid sometimes? The whole building was rigged with explosives. What? Oh! I guess it's a lucky thing for him that he wasn't standing. Oh, this is junkies. I think I died. Okay, that's a real fun sound. Why is there blood on it? <laughs> is there blood on it when I pulled it out? I don't want the Molotov. I guess there's just... I guess... Okay, I'm, maybe there was blood on it when I got it. I probably forgot. Okay, I heard someone shoot at me, but... Shoot into the wall, dude. All you succeeded at was giving away your position. Is this one? No, it's ammo. Oh, here it is. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. <laughs> that is pretty ominous. The arrived, oh, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while <laughs> the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. No way. Why that guy just exploded instead of a... I couldn't get past the door without a key. One of you has got a half key, right? Dual Ingrams? I didn't realize I picked up two of them. Someone had left a letter on the count. There was a key on the shelf. Oh, there it is. I guess I have to grab that, like, with a button. What do you want? Oh, right, letter. I wasn't listening to what he was saying. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count <laughs> on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. That siren singing like a manic de depressive choir is still a really funny line. That got a kick out of me. Dual Ingrams with only 25 ammo. I better like save that for when I'm gonna bust out the bullet time, because. 
Let the gun do the talking. Alright. Mr. Ice Guy. That's a gun for the. I'd look better to be because the guy shot me. And not because of the grenade. I feel like I was far enough away there. There is just a very kind of of the era feeling about this game, and I like it for that. <laughs> like, just checkpoints. Hmm. Like, just checkpoints just thrown in every few minutes. Well, it f I'm sure it would have felt like an eternity if I was, like, dying over and over when I played. If I had played this game when I was, like, younger or something. Because, you know. Like, let me tell you, when I played Metal Gear Solid for the first time, when I was... Oh, God. When I was younger, it felt like it took way longer to make me Ow. That was pretty humorous, the way you got blown up into the corner of the screen there. Like, that game felt like it was taking me, like, dying to each of the bosses for an hour <laughs> every day. It was, uh, yeah, like, Grey Fox to Psycho Mantis is a five minute walk if you uh, don't, if you, it's like ten minutes of work, basically, if you don't die. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing because now I'm all like sidetracked by what I'm trying to say. Anyway, like Grey Fox through Psycho Mantis is like 20 minutes, <clears throat> give or take. Okay, not so much because of the talking and the cutscenes and stuff. You know. Not so much because of the talking and the cutscenes, but like, it doesn't take that long to get from place to place through that part if you don't die in between during the fights as I came to realize but it was like an all-day adventure when I was a kid because Gray Fox murdered me over and over and Psycho Mantis also murdered me over and over all right this guy I don't know who MC or that are. Can you just jump over on your own? There we go. I don't know if he would have done that on his own. I would appreciate if things quit exploding. Oh, that guy's not dead. one of those. Alright, I'm starting to get more Ingram ammo, so maybe I feel better about yeah, using those. I still feel like a hundred bullets can be chewed through pretty easily with an automatic weapon. So I will refrain from equipping them yeah, right this second. But I needed one of those. Nothing in there. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go out. Oops. Ah yes, I hide my Desert Eagle ammo right next to the stove too. I guess that's the sink. Is that a stove? Yeah, there's a stove there. I'm not crazy. The uh, doors in the the cabinet doors made me like think I was wrong for a second. Because it... Oops. Where's this even gonna load me from? Oh, all the way back here. Yeah. I'm just gonna. 
This guy's gonna leave. <clears throat> I feel like the progress has probably been a little minimal so far, and I am sorry for that. I also can't believe I walked by those the first several times. Alright, something explodes in a second, like when I turn it. Oh, that guy got me good with his stupid double automatic pistols. There it is. I used to dodge it that time. Alright, so just falling down is good, so... I thought I was gonna miss that time, and that was mildly terrifying. I was about to say, does the floor just explode if you um, don't cross that cross that? Whoops. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, coming out of slow motion, like mid-dive is kinda cool. I felt like my uh finished most of the time before I, or finished as I was hitting the ground most of the time when I jumped before. Oh, static TV. Um, what else? Another picture, I guess. Can't tell if any other ones. Can I shoot this? No? I feel as if the opening that should be the answer. But it doesn't seem to be. So I don't know what my problem is. Can I open this one? No. can't go back, that kills me. Um, yeah, and then there's those are walled off. I don't know what the issue is. What if I shoot this thing? Cause an explosion. Oh, right. What if I Molotov the stove? I don't think that did anything but make the counter crispy. I like the charring effects though. I threw this out the window. So it's like a space that I can pass through. I don't understand. I keep trying to push circle to like cancel my slow motion dives. Hmm. 